Welcome to Annex Dinner Table, I'm Cassandra, and today I'm going to be unboxing Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. This one has the Mad King looking for a new castle, but you're going to be working with your neighbors in order to build two different ones, and you're going to decide which one you're going to show the king, and which one he chooses. Super interesting with that player interaction, part of it. If you like this video, do please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe, it really does help us out. And if you want notifications, hit the bell icon. But let's see what's inside. Okay, we start with the instruction manual, a little bit thick, but you know, learn that they just use really good paper frequently. So we have setup, gameplay, more gameplay, a whole bunch of different types of rooms, more rooms, ending the game on page 13. And then the two-player variant on page 14. And then some bonus card explanations on 15. So, not too bad. Then we've got a score sheet. No, Devin's normally anti-score sheet. But there's a whole bunch of them and they're double-sided. So, hopefully he's not too mad. Ooh. Okay, well, let's look at, we've got an extra bag, we've got some different tarot size cards, these look like they are going to be um, like reference cards, we've got some mini cards for building stuffs maybe, and some buildings, I saw these mentioned in the two player variant. I like these inserts. Yes. And then, ooh, oh, they're breaking, they're breaking. We have sheets upon sheets of punch outs, as you can tell. Super easy to punch because you pick them up and they just break around you. But that was what was in the box. So let me punch these, open those couple cards, and show you what they look like. Okay, so this is all of the pieces out. I've made a mess on my table, but we had a couple different types. We had these longer rectangular pieces. We had seven of them, so it seems like they're going to be one for each player. There were some slight variations on them in just like what they do at the bottom. Um, two points per um, cups, sleeping, and adjacent to this one maybe, where this one is two points for um, the line, for something going downstairs and four rooms um, underneath. So slight variations in there. And then I cheated. I looked up how to set the game trays up, but it's okay. Um, and then we had all of these rooms. Um, we had of course different types and they also had um, the same types of stuff. So the cape room and it's got its type. So this is um, like a flame, um, and card, two points per downstairs one, and for some sort of adjacency bonus thing, where the hall of puzzled floors is that line, um, room, one point per, um, a torch, and per, like, surrounding thing, um, I'm not completely sure what the all of the symbology is, but 
there's all different types who found it punch quite right. Um, and so many different building types as we were looking through the rules. It was just like almost everything was a different building type. So we've got, you know, these green ones, orange, the downstairs ones, sleeping rooms, all types. And these ones with this nice back that go into this red tray and it holds really nicely um, and then there is this little gap there so you can lift them all up instead of having to try to like flip the whole tray around very well thought out these trays looking at the smaller tray move um we had um, some special rooms that were double-sided so the fountain um, and it was just worth like five victory points straight off um, and we've got the tower same thing these ones were all double-sided so I put them in here and they had some matching um, pictograph underneath these so you knew See, like this. It's more difficult to get them than with those ones. So like this has a little tower. So I knew to put the tower ones there. And then we have these smaller um, square tokens that had people on them. So this is like the jester, um, one point per torch and double-sided, but same thing. We had four different people because we had the jester, we had the knight, we had like a clerk person, and then we had maybe like a servant cook. Um, so all different types of people, and then we also had those um, one of those card stuff. This is the builder card deck. That's just. Um, no real art to them, where it's just like victory points per whatever it says, and a bunch of different ones. And it has a nice little place here. We had those larger tarot size ones, and um, these just look exactly like reference cards. Um, the type of space it is, so food, living, utility, outdoor sleeping corridor or downstairs, their scoring bonus if you get three of them, so just a nice little helpful hint. And then we did have these different castle colors um, and just castle types. I'm not sure if they have any meaning or if they're just ooh, to help differentiate and make everyone feel special and unique, which is nice, and, you know, wooden tokens, different colors. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be used in every game or just the two-player um, variant. I know I did see them um, on the two-player variant side. Let me put the rest of this stuff into that game tray, and we can see how pretty it looks back in the box. Game trays are so great. What I thought were just supposed to be little finger holds are actually places for those castles to sit. And then everything has a place inside of them for the most part. And they have a lid. And a pretty good lid, like. And then I put the big one, of course, on the bottom. This little one has a nice groove I can put it in right so it doesn't move around and then the scorecards those reference cards and the rule book just sits right on top so that was what was in the box of between two castles of mad king ludwig i'm really excited i like the idea of working with your uh, neighbors to try to create something. I also absolutely love those trays. Are there any other great games that have amazing trays? Let me know which ones down in the comments. 
They're just my absolute favorite thing. Thanks for watching.